What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and right now we're going to be going through some steps for you to get your free 93 overall zero chill player. I've received a lot of questions about it since I posted it on X. Uh, some of you guys are like, yo G, I don't see how you got a free player. Well, it's always going to be about the field pass. Um, unfortunately for us, we chose Micah Parsons and he actually sucks, but we'll go over some of the reasons why he does uh, in a little bit and why we went another route. But this 93 overall BND, you can either choose this or a 90 overall auctionable player. Obviously, you want to take the higher overall player because these players are going for upwards of 500k. So we're going to go over that right now so that you guys see the best steps to go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what he's doing on my team right now. So when you go over to the live events, like I said, I always ask you guys on X, like, yo, have you maxed out this field pass? You know, are, what are you doing? What's going on with you guys? And you guys give me updates. So when you get to the end of this, right, the 90 overall zero chill hero, it's a fantasy pack. Like I said, the 90 overalls are hot trash. So I would not do that. Okay. The 93 overall B and D though, it made sense. Now remember, it's always good if you've been watching the videos to just hold the packs until the end of promos. Why do we do that? Pretty much what happens is EA Sports adds the updated players into the pack. So going forward, I just want to make sure that it's said out loud in a video because I've been saying it for like the last three months. All of the players update in the packs that you get. Just do not open the pack when you, you, know, when you obtain it. If you obtain it early because some of you guys are grinding crazy and you have it, just don't open it. And as soon as they drop the last uh, portion of whatever promo it is, they will be in that pack. That's how I was able to get that 93 overall. So with the objectives, I just want to point out, I did not complete everything. Okay? Everything was not completed. You can see the, gray, the grayed out versions is what I did. I haven't even done a lot of the challenges. What you guys should probably do if you're looking to get a lot of free content, because there is a lot of free content available. Uh, within the game uh, there are still mystery presents and stuff like that available in the challenges but I just wanted to give you guys the examples um, I didn't play a lot of the you know the reason for the season I didn't do a lot of that um, I just went through and did you know some of the things that were early on like tis the dang season I put out the video I showed you guys how to get your lineup set and I did a lot of the other things that were available um, you know as far as the head-to-head -head and the stats which was the major thing of getting a lot of the points because you do need a decent amount of points to max this out so what would I suggest right if you look at the grayed out areas and what I did you could be able to figure out okay so after you go through all of the um, you know the zero chill XP you can see why I was able to obtain all of that just by doing exactly what's in these actual objectives okay now remember if you weren't part of the daily right because there was a daily objective thing also um, they were giving out very very minimal XP so at this point right now some of you guys are telling me yo I just got Madden or I just transferred my new account to an upgraded system you guys got a new system for Christmas unfortunately for you guys that are doing that a lot of it is not transferable right so you would have to do as much as you can what I would suggest for you guys right if you want like a 93 overall player is to go create the 90 overalls themselves and then build it that way because you're not going to be able to make up a lot of it and also if you're moving from the previous gen to the next gen the game plays completely different so you're not going to just jump out here and just be you know balling out so i don't expect you guys to go into head to head and just start going crazy you're going to need a little bit of time to get your level up and do stuff like that so i just want to make sure that we all understand it's similar to the fact that some of you guys cannot get the actual uh chill out strat card to get the plus one speed because you can't purchase a present in the snowflake store so some of this stuff you can't actually do so you're not going to get the xp from it but there are other things like i'm showing you like if you go through all the challenges you can make up all of the other xp i just did not need to do it because we all started here at g miles world from the beginning remember we played the tis the dang season when it first dropped and we won a Super Bowl, we sold Zeke for like almost 900K, and we ran away from it as fast as we could because that mode sucks, okay? So that's just what I wanted to show you guys with that to kind of give you guys some insight into it. So if you can't do some of the things that were in like the Madden Express stop schedule, and you see that some of the stuff that's here I didn't finish, you would finish that, the 2,000 rush yards with the two zero chill players. You would finish the 30 fumbles in the game. Remember, these two right here, they don't have to be in a head-to-head -head game. If it doesn't specifically say head-to-head -head or solo battle, then you don't have to do it in a head-to-head -head or solo battle. You could do it in anything, a challenge, whatever, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So take advantage of that. 
and get that stuff done as well. Now, this is where I messed up, right? I chose Micah Parsons when I should have probably just taken the safety. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why. Jesse Master Bateson, right? Like Jesse Bates the third, that's his nickname. He gets pick artists for one. Now remember, there are a lot of players right now that get it for zero. So you can always go and, and, and like even that corner from the Dallas Cowboys, he's a redux. But the reason that people are playing with the zero chill players is because they get boost and they get the you know really huge boost from the um you know the zero chill strat cards. So with that being said, right? You can, you know, get a 95 speed player versus getting a guy that's 92 93 that gets zero AP pick artists, you know, by just, you know, just spend the one. Just spend the one on it because you want all the boosts that are possible and that's very very ideal. Now, if I could do it over, I would have just chose him because I had a feeling they were going to make Micah Parsons garbage, but I was just like, "Yo, you know what? With his numbers, he probably would be good." Now, when I put him in the game, right, he gets 1 AP um, edge threat. And just to show you how out of touch the EA development team for Madden is, they gave him Swim Club, uh, Swim Club again, when this has been available all year for one. So that's not really a discounted ability. And in this case, with Swim Club, they don't even charge you for it here, and they're charging, charging you for it in the last bucket. So his card is already screwed up. But one of the things that attracted me to it was the fact that he was a 94 speed, right? But it's something about him being undersized. He's not as good as he once was. Like with the MCS card, he was really good. And then all of a sudden he just became trash. So what we did was we went the Montez sweat route, okay? And I just wanna make sure that I point out to you guys, he's always been good. And then look what they did though. He gets it for two. He's a limited card that cost me almost a million coins and he gets it for two. That That's why, just don't use uh, lineman abilities in this game. And I said that since like September, once we figured it out. Line line abilities are trash in this game, all right? Focusing on KOs and pick artists and lurk artists, okay? But now, you see that he doesn't really have like the power moves and stuff like that that Micah has, but he plays better because he's bigger. He's 6'6", six, six, he's 260, like he's a bigger player. So the bigger players have a better advantage of doing things. Like TJ Watt, some, it's something weird about TJ Watt as well. So again, I wouldn't tell you to take TJ Watt as your free player, and obviously Montez Sweat is a limited, but TJ Watt is actually better in this game than Micah Parsons. And what's weird about it is he's only an inch taller. It's like really, really stupid, but he goes crazy. And I, look, guys, I can't explain to you why. But again, you would not take this guy as your free card. You would obviously take a 93. I would recommend Jesse Bates and get him for the pick artist and just go from there. But ultimately the way that the game plays you want to go with the size and speed now we may do some more uh upgrades a little bit later remember i'm not saying go 50 or 50 theme team i only went 25 and i used the strat card that i showed you guys that you can't get anymore if you haven't done it already so this is the actual strat card to chill out with the plus one speed if you haven't done this already you probably can't do it but getting plus two speed for the promo just makes the game a lot better for all of us and it's just easier. But again, I would not choose Micah Parsons if you're watching this video and you're having like, um, you know, a question about, yo, gee, should I do it? I would probably just go with Jesse Bates because he's one of the better free safeties and, um, you know, just, just leave it like that, bro, and just keep it moving because, dog, Micah Parsons right now, even if I get rid of him, the training is very minimal and it's gonna be crazy. So I would go through the field pass, get the free card. That's the way I would start to upgrade the defense. And other than that, I'll be back with more info for you guys and some gameplays coming very soon. Become a member if you would like, if you have other questions that you would like answered. And other than that, you have a blessed day. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.